Don't be scared, we're ghost busting in 60. As a married man, I've seen a lot of romantic date night type movies, but none of them can live up to the storyline of that of Jacob and Rachel. Jacob loved Rachel, but he had to work seven years to earn her hand in marriage. But at the last minute, her father trades her out for her older sister, and Jacob is now forced to work seven more years for Rachel. They finally get married, they try to conceive, they can't. It takes them years to finally have a son, then they tr try for years again, and then they finally have another son. But in a tragic twist of the story, Rachel dies in childbirth. Now, according to Genesis chapter 35, verse 18, it says that at the end of childbirth, her soul departed. But guess what? It's the Hebrew word nefesh again. It just means that her life departed her. See, when we read the story with our modern ideas about the soul, we think that a ghostly entity was leaving her, but rather it just means that she was slowly dying. So let's hit that reset button of our brain and make sure we understand what the word soul means. It simply means life. Let's obtain a better resurrection.